Have you ever wondered what music would sound like if you took the bass melodies and gave them to the drums, or took the drum melodies and gave them to the horns, or perhaps took the string melodies and gave them to the guitars? Now, you are probably imagining total chaos, right? Well, it's quite the opposite. This sonic mashup is how I've created my sound for over a decade, and I've come to the conclusion that innovative ideas are best fostered outside of conventional thinking. Now, I grew up in Ghana, in the capital of Accra, and I remember the magic of music was everywhere. Funerals, churches, wakes, you couldn't escape it. Soon, I was turning everything around me into a musical instrument. Empty gallons were rigged with strings to become guitars, Empty buckets transformed to drum kits, and plastic pipes became trumpets. Because I hadn't had the chance to study music formally, my personal metronome was the complex cacophony of sounds in Accra. The chants of hawkers selling in the streets, the offbeat melodies of fishermen dragging nets, and the boom bap of carpenters crafting furniture. This was my music school. This is where I learned rhythm. So I moved to New York City and put together a live band, and I remember our very first rehearsal. The musicians walked in and asked me the obvious question, where is the sheet music? I thought to myself, well, damn. I didn't read music, so I didn't have music sheets. But I'd spent the night before coming up with these amazing, complex melodies for each instrument. But under so much pressure, I mixed them up. I gave the bass melody to the drums, the drums to the guitars. And before I knew it, I had stumbled on something amazing that was going to change my life forever. There's a Joseph Pierce quote that I absolutely love. To live a creative life, we must lose the fear of being wrong. And I knew I wasn't wrong, because way before music was charted or studied in schools, it was part of our everyday lives. It was free, it was innovative, and open to interpretation. The birth of hip-hop culture is the perfect example of this. Now, can you imagine a music school trying to teach the early pioneering DJs of the culture how to scratch? I'm sure they didn't have sheet music for that. This is the kind of innovation that is best fostered outside of conventional thinking. I approached my filmmaking from the same perspective I had done with music, taking cues from the magical realism of my culture. Soon I was making images of ancestral spirits dancing in subway cars and blind fishermen sailing boats on dry land. This, as unconventional as it was, became the foundation of my filmmaking. Now, the honest truth is this, y'all. If you love something, and I mean honestly, truly love something, I invite you to approach it from your own unique perspective. Chances are you might discover your own magic. Thank you.